Have you been in my room all morning while I was gone? Have you? Is that what happened? You silly. She just came out of nowhere. Hey viewers, my name's Kara, and I just got back from the multi-generational Halloween slash Samhain service at my Unitarian Universalist church, which is why I'm recording this sideways, uh, so you can see a little bit more of my costume. Yes, multi-different stripiness, and I had heels on, but I just took them off. So I want to do two videos kind of related to Halloween and Samhain. This will just be the first. But there's people in my house. I got home. There's a ton of people. I didn't even know where to park because everything is full and, like, there's cars all along the road. So this is just going to be quick. But I wanted to address uh, the idea of Samhain. And for those of you who might be celebrating Samhain for the first time, give you a couple ideas. I have noticed that Ariander Ravenheart has already posted a video of her Samhain altar. So I'm really glad she did that because we are not covering Samhain on the Pagan Perspective this year because we've done it in the past and we had other topics to get to this month. So I do hope you will watch her video and anyone else who has put up a video of this nature, go check them out and I'm sure they will have some great ideas for you as well. Last year, I did a Samhain ritual with my Unitarian Universalist club at my college that a freshman started, and I was a senior at the time, and they let me lead them through a Samhain ritual. So I have a video describing what we did last year, so feel free to watch that. Uh, it was basically just a very simple little thing outdoors. I had them collect leaves for each one of their ancestors that we wanted to honor and say their names out loud and put it on the altar. And then we buried the leaves and some food for the ancestors. And we did a little bit of petition magic with um, getting rid of things that we were ready to let go with the new year this time of year being considered the new year in several calendars even though I myself do follow the actual calendar new year I don't go around saying that today is 2013 now I follow the calendar year but anyway some other ideas the group that my friend from church runs hosts organizes is part of I don't know started I don't know how to say what she is to that group. They are having a not-so-dumb supper today, and I'm not actually going to go because it's happening in about an hour, and the place is an hour in the opposite direction of where I was headed today, so I'm not going to attend that. I'm going to work on this stuff instead. But a dumb supper is a dinner or other meal, I guess, where you get together and you have your meal in silence, in remembrance of the dead, respecting them and honoring their silence, and just kind of taking the time as an extended moment of silence to to remember your ancestors and other people and things that you're thankful for and just stuff that's happened throughout the past year and you set an extra place at the table for your ancestors and so you give them a plate and drink and everything else that everyone else is having you set an extra place at the table for them and then later you put that plate and all of that food out as an offering to the ancestors so that's what my friends will be doing I call them my friends even though I barely know some of them and I haven't even met all of them yet. And that's a little bit of what we did last year with the group that I did. That's why we set the extra plate and buried it for the ancestors. I'm really sorry about all the noise in the background. This is really not a good situation, but I want to get these videos done for you and I can't keep waiting because Samhain is on Wednesday. Another idea, of course, you can carve pumpkins and paint pumpkins and things like that because that is a great Halloween and Samhain tradition. Leave them outside your door or in in the windows and things like that to light the spirits on their way and let them know where they can come to be welcome when they cross over the thinning veil. What else? What do you do on Samhain? What do you like to do for Halloween? I'm sure families have a lot of traditions that they like to do and my family always did throughout my childhood carve pumpkins and sometimes paint pumpkins. You could make garlands out of leaves and just decorate for the fall season and last year, a couple years ago, in my dorm room. I put together a little ancestor altar for my cat mystery, my late feline cohort. And for that, I didn't have a picture of her, but we had a card from the vet's office that everyone had signed um, saying sorry for your loss and things like that. So I put her card on there and the necklace that I had made for her when she was in the vet's office. I included that and a small bowl of water because she always liked to drink out of my altar bowl and just other little things that reminded me of her, other feline things, etc. And so that was just an ancestor altar for mystery, specifically in her honor. So you could do that and honor a specific ancestor. You could honor all of them in general, uh, even the people that you don't know. Or if you're adopted into the family that you are part of now, 
then you have two sets of ancestors. You have this family that you're a part of, and then you have your biological ancestors who you may not know about. Me, I only really know as far as my grandmother's parents, and I don't know them personally, I just know of them. So if I wanted to do that, I could put just some generic Italian symbols on my altar because they're from Italy or Sicily, things like that. I would like to go and spend some time with my grandmother today because even though she is still living, thank the gods, and I appreciate that very much, she is still someone who came before me. She's still someone in my lineage who came before, so I think spending time with your living ancestors would be nice as well. I had another thought a moment ago, but I forgot. I can't remember what I was going to say, but you could also honor the spirits of the dead in general. I like to hang out in cemeteries, so if it weren't raining today, if it weren't raining, I would go and visit several cemeteries in my area today and just leave general offerings for all of the dead. Okay, I apologize. I really can't remember the other thing I was going to say, and the people in my house are getting louder and louder, so I already don't know what's in the background of this video, but I hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration, and overall, if this is your first time celebrating Samhain, just remember that it doesn't have to be anything really fancy or spectacular, and it doesn't have to be anything specific. It doesn't have to be anything that I just said. It could just be something that means something special to you. Something that is the way you remember people who came before, or events that came before, pets, friends and family, anything. So do go look up other people's videos, watch past videos that we've done, and have fun. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Blessed be, don't forget to be awesome, and happy Samhain. Bye!